So whether you like it or not, TikTok ads have been crushing in the e-com space lately with not only the paid marketing side, but also the organic side. Especially with Facebook bans getting out of hand, high CPMs and high cost per clicks, TikTok seems to be the all around solution. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I start and run my TikTok ad campaigns to get sales like you hear in the background. So over the past few months, I've generated quite a lot with TikTok in terms of revenue and in profit. And this is just one of the stores I'm currently running. And you guys can see the active visitors. We have 1.1K as well as $30,000 in sales just for today. And here's also one of the other stores. We did around 60K in November and going on into December, we pulled out around $130,000. And this was all about around a 30% margin overall. So if you ask me, that's not bad at all. This right here is the store that I pulled off 30,000 just for today's sales in. And you guys can see the TikTok ads manager. We have quite a lot of campaigns because this product definitely is in the scaling phase. But putting all this aside, let's get right into the tutorial. So the first thing you're required to do is create an actual TikTok account. You guys can use the link below and for the business name we're just gonna pretty much put our business name I'm just gonna put subscribe now because that's what I recommend you highly do right now if you're not already for the industry we're gonna go ahead and put e-commerce and scroll down all the way to other right here now for the time zone I'm gonna put Los Angeles now this one will defer you want to put your time zone of course then go ahead and check this box right here and click register now after this you should be taken to a page that looks something like this so right here you're just gonna fill out your business website put in your address address and all that information then it's going to ask you for a credit card and all that but once you're filling all that out you should land on a page like this so this is an existing ad account i have obviously we're going to want to go ahead and select conversions right here and then for the campaign name you're going to put whatever the product name is but i'm just going to put one for the sake of this video and then you don't want to touch any of these these are for different strategies and I actually do use these options but we're not going to do that in this case specifically so we're going to hit continue right here and once we are on this page the ad group name is basically the interest name so whatever you target let's say you target dog owners or cat lovers you're going to put cat lovers or dog owners or whatever interest you target but for tiktok specifically i like to go broad so i'm going to leave this as broad and then i'll show you guys how to target interests later down the line so for the website we're going to want to create a TikTok pixel. I already have two pixels right here, but if you created a new ad account, you won't have a pixel. So we're going to want to create one. And in order to do that, you just want to click that button, click set up web events or create pixel, TikTok pixel, click next. And then you want to name your pixel. I'm going to put three and then click this second option right here. Click Shopify, click next, and you should be taken to a different page where you're just going to spam next a bunch of times. So complete setup and we should be good to go now in order to install this you can actually get an app called tiktok on the shopify app store and then just pretty much log in with your tiktok account details now personally on some of my stores i don't even install pixels and i just go based off of different metrics like the ctr cpm cost per click but if you want to install a pixel you guys can pretty much do it through shopify or by installing it with code so now once our pixel is set up you guys can go back to the tiktok page right here open this up and we have our third pixel that we just created right here for the optimization of that we want to click complete payment we don't want any other people who just go to our site to add to cart or view the content we want actual purchasers hence why we choose this option right here now we want to scroll down right here and click select payments and uncheck these two random ones i mean we don't need pangle or newsfeed app series we want tiktok that's where the money's at at the end of the day for user comments we're going to turn this off and then for video download we're going to turn this off as well now for this option be aware people can still download your videos so you want to make sure that you add a watermark on all your videos before uploading them for creative type there is some strategies i use which include this checked uh, but for this specific testing strategy we're not going to have this checked right now so scroll down and for the location i always start with us now obviously if you're located somewhere else you could target the different countries but i start with us and then for the gender we're going to have it as all we're going to want tiktok to do the heavy lifting here we don't want to choose male or female and the only case i would do this in is if the product is heavily oriented towards one gender so other than that i will leave that the same for the age we're going to select 18 to 24 25 to 34 35 to 44 45 to 54 and 55 plus now the reason for this is because we don't want 15 year olds out here turning into robbers stealing their mom's credit card buying on your store and then the mom end up charging back because they found out their son purchased a posture corrector from the site trendhopper.com. Like that's not the people we want to target. We want people target that do have a bit of money. So yeah, let's go ahead and scroll down here and we can leave all of this the same. For interests, 
we're gonna go ahead and leave it empty. But if you want to target interest for some of your products when you are starting out, you can go ahead and choose some of these broad interests. Now, we're not gonna do that, so we're gonna click this trash can right here. And for device and targeting expansion, we're gonna leave those blank. Daily budget, we're gonna start at 20 because that is the minimum with TikTok. But other than that, we wanna make sure the schedule is uh, clicked on and clicked on now. We wanna start ads as soon as we can. Make sure this option right here is checked. And for the specific time, we want to start at 8 a.m. to 12 a.m., which is what I've had the most success with. Now, this is just what's worked for me, so you guys can play around with that. Now, let's scroll down, and these options, you want to leave the same for this specific strategy. So we don't want to play around with any of these. Click Next. Now, this page is actually where we implement our video ads and upload our creatives, and this is what the public eye will see once we publish and start running these ads. Now, for the ad name, we're going to just put Ad 1, and then for the second ad, if you have another one, you can do Ad 2, Ad 3, and so on. But for this one, we're only going to have one to keep it short and simple. For Spark Ads, we're not going to have this on. This is if you have an existing TikTok page and you want to run those existing posts as TikTok ads, uh, but we're actually creating a fresh ad, fresh page, so we're not going to check that now for the custom identity i already have one called drop shipping right here obviously you want to name this your brand name upload a profile picture of your logo or whatever this is what we'll show as the profile right here now when people actually click on this they're going to be taken to your website not a tiktok profile and also a shop now button will be right here so that will redirect them to your website as well so now for the video you guys may be wondering where you actually get tiktok video creative so i recommend my team over at bands off ads and this is sort of what the ads look like and if you guys know what viral tiktok ads look like and what they actually include this is sort of the style with text and then the tiktok voiceover so for example one of the ads right here i just discovered a life hack for cat owners like me i bought my corner brush for my cat they love how relaxing it feels on their skin now you guys can go ahead and find and compile clips on your own or you could pay a service like bands off ads to go ahead and find all these clips and compile it for you just so that you don't have to do all the editing voiceovers and finding all the clips so the link to bands off ads will be below in the description if you guys want your own video ads i'm just gonna go ahead and upload a creative that i just downloaded off tiktok from a product that's actually going pretty viral just for the sake of this video i'm not actually gonna run this product but once that is uploaded you guys can see it will be right here Please wanted your septum pierced, but you're too scared. Our magnetic septum rings just restocked. Now, once the creative is uploaded for the ad copy or the text right here, you guys can see once I type right here, this is where it's going to show. So for this, you could pretty much put the offer that you're presenting to the potential customer. For example, available now at 50% off. Now, this obviously can be tweaked for your offer. Let's say if you have a buy one, get one free, this would be a great spot to include it. Or if you have a closing sale on your store, this would be a nice spot to include it. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to include this right here but just remember there is a lot of different things that you can include here which just could be a bunch of different compelling offers this isn't the only thing you could put and it's actually better to differentiate yourself than what everyone else is putting which is pretty much this so let's scroll down and go over to this section right here from dynamic we want to change this to shop now um, and this is what I found to work best and for the URL you just want to put your actual website URL um, and this is going to lead to the product page or the home page of your website I usually do the product page but that's what you want to put right here make sure this box right here is unchecked because otherwise it will show your ad in a library of different ads so when other drop shippers are doing product research they can come across your ad just from having this box right here checked so overall once this is done you want to go ahead and click submit so you guys can pretty much see the campaign was officially created and now what you want to do is hop into it and actually duplicate this four more times so we have a total of four different ad sets so we're going to go ahead and click duplicate and change this to four and then we're going to go ahead and click submit and now we pretty much have five different copies of the same exact ad set and if you want you can go into these ad groups and click edit and change the interest if you want to have maybe two interests and then the rest broad and simply how you do that is click add interests and then choose one from right here or you could just leave them all broad now as far as the creatives you can have one to three creatives when you are testing for this tutorial i'm just gonna have one for the sake of time but you guys can have one to three creatives in each of the ad groups just to test which one of your creatives are actually performing the best but once you have this set up you're pretty much all set you want to let this run and sort of gauge the performance and how you can move on to the scaling phase from here now before you scale there are some important criteria you want to meet overall the main one is just profitability 
basically saying how much money you spent on this campaign minus the amount it made for you and if you're still in the positive this campaign might be a campaign that's able to be scaled now some of the more in-depth metrics I like to look at is the cost per click and the CTR if the cost per click is under 20 cents that's where I'm happy and that's where I've seen for my product get really really good results and for the CTR if it's anywhere above 1.5 that is a really solid cost per click now if your metrics are good and you're profitable and you're ready to scale there's actually a few different ways that you can scale and I'm not gonna go too into depth on all of those methods in this video but let's say for example this broad four ad set did really really well and we want to horizontally scale it meaning make more of it and not increase the budget directly what we can do is make a copy and pretty much make five copies all at $20 a day so we're gonna click duplicate and then we're gonna go ahead and click submit and what this will do is create basically five more copies of the best performing ad set and that would be whatever in your case would be performing the best and then we're going to go ahead and click OK. Now what that did is created more ad sets of the one that was working for us and now we have multiple of those all at $20 a day and in order to vertically scale what you can do is just duplicate it once and increase it from 20 to 40 and if that works you can duplicate it from 40 to 100 and so on. Now there also are some CBO scaling methods where you can put five, 10 of the best performing ad sets into CBOs at $250 a day and increase that CBO of upwards of $2,500 a day in order to get that at very high scale. So with this strategy, you can actually start getting sales as soon as it is implemented if you have a good product offer and creative. And if it doesn't work, you guys know now that it's not your testing strategy because I got you in this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.